So I'm trying to learn a bit more about multi-sampling using the Logic multi-sampler. And uh, I thought I'd explain the process that I've been using to sample uh, a little penny whistle that I've got and create a little instrument from it. So I'm going to record each note individually. I'm going to put a metronome in my ears, 120 BPM, and I'm going to record each note for eight beats. So I'll be like... Etc. 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 Speakers off. Have a swig of water. Right. Here we go. Okay. So now I've got. The, uh, the all the notes gradually. Now there is another octave you can go up, but I won't do them just now. Now I've got my individual samples or recordings. I'm going to top and tail each recording just so they're a bit tidier before I then drag them into the sampler itself. Now I can drag each individual note onto the appropriate key in the sampler and adjust the key range of the sampler itself so that only that one sample plays on that one note. And I can do this for all the individual notes. Um, please note that Logic actually does have an option that you can drag all the notes in one go into Logic and it will basically use an AI to figure out which note is which and zone them appropriately. So sometimes it works really nicely, but depending on the instrument you're sampling, um, because some instruments have harmonics in, you know, within the recording that Logic will automatically pick up and not necessarily the correct one. So, but it can have some great results at the same time. So it's worth trying. But in this case, I'm basically manually zoning each note myself and uh, double checking each parameter going through making sure the volumes are right checking the attack and the release and that sort of stuff one thing i have done is i have made the overall sample one monophonic because uh, a flute a penny whistle in this case is monophonic and you can't play more than one note at the same time so the plan now is to do the second octave, uh, which have a very different timbre to them, um, and then put them in the sampler as well. Create the multi sample, so we should have a two octave instrument. Um, after that, I want to go through and see if I can get different textures from them. Um, and do little, little short notes um, and different sort of breathy sounds and things like that. Let's see what we can get. But in the background of this video. You are hearing the result with a bit of reverb on, just for effect. Hope you liked, please subscribe, and uh, see you next one.